Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I am the American Analyst, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at Russiagate 2.0, Bernie's Boogaloo. Burgaloo. We'll, we'll, we'll work on the rhyme. <laughs> if you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube, like this video, and follow me on Twitter and Minds. Let's get into it. Okay, so we got a couple of stories today, and firstly, I wanted to talk a little bit about the 2016 Nevada caucus. This is something that I did not know about until very recently, and the picture that you're seeing on your screen is from after all the craziness went down. If you don't know what happened, basically, they decided on a rule change to they decided to vote on a rule change to see how delegates would be assigned in the 2016 Nevada caucus. So at, at that time, it was pretty much just Bernie and um, Clinton that were left. And to vote, they decided to do a an eyes versus nays. So they, you know, like like old old timey style, like they would say, you know, all all those. All those in favor say aye, and then people say aye, and then the nays, and then the, and then the nays. I've seen the video, and it's clear that Bernie had the majority of support in this particular in this particular room. This eyes versus nays thing. It's very clear from the video, and you can even see there's there's one point where the woman doing it looks away. She she looks she looks away at someone as if to say like okay what do, what do we do what what do we do now because it's <laughs> and and then of course she just hits the the gavel and says it says ah oh, the, the eyes have it so they changed the rules that's not even the craziest part the crazy it gets even more crazy in that later when they're actually counting the delegates she just walks out they do this same thing again they do the same thing again to decide who's going to win. And it says the eyes have it. She hits the gavel, runs off. And and the Bernie's supporters go nuts. They go in they go nuts. Now there has been some it, it's said that or I've heard people say that the the mainstream media is saying that the Bernie supporters are throwing chairs or were rather at this event. I don't know if that's true. It well, doesn't matter to me. Um, it didn't really get, it didn't get out of hand, so it doesn't really matter. Like, okay, some people threw some chairs, it, it's fine, even if it happened. Anyway, this is then the cops coming in and escorting the, the, ev people weren't leaving ob for obvious reasons because this whole thing was a sham and the cops come in and tell them to leave, force them rather to leave. So this is the picture that you're seeing on your screen and that is the synopsis of what ha of how the state of nevada was stolen from bernie in 2016 and and that's fair to say uh, i want to make it clear i'm not a bernie supporter but it is also clear that it was stolen the 2016 democratic primary was stolen from bernie and the most egregious example was the Nevada caucus, which brings me to our main story. This would be Russia. Here we go again, folks. Russia is said to be interfering to aid Sanders in the Democratic primaries. It was only a matter of time. You wasted three years of our lives with this nonsense this Mueller probe that cost $20 million. You wasted our lives. And then you wasted it with Ukraine gate. And now whoever goes up against these establishment types, whoever does it, the media comes after them. I don't know who it is that is deciding these things, but just when Bernie's starting to look like he has, he's, it's most likely that he's going to win. They come after him. Again, I don't support him. 
But it's just, it's just, this is so insane. Who believes this nonsense? Okay, Washington. <clears throat> Russia has been trying to intervene, has been trying to intervene in the Democratic primaries to aid Bernie Sanders. According to people familiar with the matter, I asked my friend, a.k.a., I asked my friend, here's what she told me. People familiar with the matter. Yeah. Oh, and intelligence officials. Wow. What's an intelligence official? What is that? Is that someone who works in the mailroom? Intelligence official. Recently briefed him. An intelligence officials recently briefed him. <clears throat> about Russian interference in the election, Mr. Sanders said on Friday. In a statement, I need to calm down. <laughs> so, so intelligence officials had a meeting with Bernie. Okay, okay, we got it. In a statement on Friday, so that's today, uh, Mr. Sanders denounced Russia, calling President Putin an autocratic thug and warning Moscow to stay out of the election. Let's be clear, Russians want to undermine the American democracy by dividing us. And unlike the current president, I stand firmly against their efforts and any other power, foreign power, that wants to interfere in our election. He told reporters. He has also told reporters that he was briefed about a month ago. The intelligence community is telling us Russia is interfering in this campaign right now. Sanders said on Friday where he was told where he was told to hold a rally ahead of Saturday's Nevada caucuses. I want to say to Mr. Putin, if I am elected president, trust me, you will not be interfering in American elections. Okay. Not so veiled threat from, from Bernie. Senior intelligence officials told members of the House Intelligence Committee. Okay. All right. Here we go. Republicans have taken issue... With the idea that Russia supports Mr. Trump insisting Putin wants to broadly spread chaos and undermine the democratic system. I believe that's true. With Moscow potentially considering Sanders a weaker opponent. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here here comes the Bernie the Berniness. Um and and Republicans don't think well they do think this, that they want to broadly spread chaos and undermine the democratic system. That's true. But I think the main point is you have a few hackers that set up fake social media accounts and fake Twitter accounts. And I'm not talking about thousands. People are talking Russian bots. And then they turn that into election meddling. Like if a person in Russia is messing with the election, does that make it election meddling? I guess. I guess in the technical sense, it'd be Russian election meddling. And there is some evidence that Putin tried to influence the election in some way but the the effect was negligible there was no effect anyway here comes the sanders smear getting back to it mr sanders mos with moscow potentially considering mr sanders a weaker opponent to the president than a moderate democratic nominee like one of the two that the new york times had um endorsed New York Times it always endorses a candidate. This is the first time the spineless cowards over there couldn't pick. They picked two candidates. Um, endorsed two candidates. Imagine if Obama came out and endorsed two candidates. And I know for a fact Sanders supporters, I know they would disagree with this considering Mr. Sanders a weaker opponent. I know they would disagree with that. Okay. All right, here's the last sentence. Or paragraph. This is This is so amazing. The Russians also work to support or at least not to harm Mr. Sanders in 2016. How do you work not to do something? That makes no sense. Operatives at a Russian intelligence-backed troll factory. <laughs> These people have no idea what is going on. A troll factory. What? What is that? 
Seriously, what is a troll factory? This is the dumbest paragraph I've, I've seen out of the New York Times. Troll factory. I, I know what they're trying to say, but it's just so dumb. A, a troll factory, they're literally saying there's giant rooms of hackers that are, are sitting in Russia directing, being directed by intelligence operatives from Russia. It, it, it's so crazy that this is, st oh my God, they bring up Mueller too. <sighs> According to the report by the special counsel, Robert Mueller III, The report quoted internal documents from the Internet Research Agency ordering operatives to attack Hillary Clinton's campaign, use any opportunity to criticize Clinton, and the rest, except for Sanders and Trump. We support them, the document said. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're going to talk about 2016, and for some reason, because someone in the intel community talked to Bernie, that's all the... Someone in the intel community talked to Bernie and that's the basis of this article that's that's literally it there's nothing else there's nothing else this stop with this nonsense this is so insane to me that this is so insane look it, you can make all the arguments you want about the electoral college, about Trump didn't win the popular vote. At least those things actually happened. This is insane nonsense. And 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 I for one, I think I'm with most people now. I think I am that I was willing to entertain it the first time. I didn't think it was true, but I was willing to entertain it. Not this time. This is nonsense. This is abject nonsense do not waste my time with this okay getting fired up on friday <laughs> if you like what i do please be sure to subscribe to me here on youtube like this video and follow me on twitter and minds have a good evening thank you all for listening this is mike the american analyst follow me on twitter minds and subscribe to me on youtube and be sure to hit that bell notification i'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.